Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 547. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 539 to 550. Hey, in this video here, we want to see how to look at a list of files accessed at a server and figure out what is the last time that that particular file has been accessed. Now, this is a question that came from uh, the AT department at my school where I teach. 40,000 records. So we went up and we did this on a 40,000 record uh, uh, data set. I just have a little data set here. Here's the file names. Let's say this is a data dump and there are lots of repeats because these files from the server get accessed a lot and here's the times and we need the latest time. The first thing is we need to get a, a unique list of uh, file name. So I'm going to click in this cell, Control Shift Down Arrow. Although you could do it with a formula, why bother when you have data, advanced filter, and with advanced filter it's try, trying to guess the range. That looks like it's correct. We would definitely want to copy it to another location. Copy to where? I'm going to click right there. Now when you do advanced filter for unique records only. You got to have a field name or else it'll have one duplicate. Field name and then all of the um, records including duplicates. No criteria because that is the criteria. Click OK. Now we need uh, to count. This, pers uh, this person needed to count how many times they'd been accessed. They were in essence analyzing if it was worthy of uh, are the files being used or not. So if, they're, if the counts are all ones and twos and zeros, uh, maybe they're not worthy. And if there's a lot of them, they wanted to know the last time. This is like a dying server that they were working on. So we're going to say last time. Now it's important to know that um, this could have date and time or just time. I put just time here, but date, either one of whatever data is in this column, as long as it's a uh, serial number, date or time, then this will work. Now the count is pretty easy. We just do count if. I'm going to highlight this whole range in the active cell at the top equals count if. I'm going to say that equals count if. Uh, when I control shift enter, I mean when I enter the formula, that name will go away. Now the range control shift down arrow F4 to lock it comma and the criteria one cell to my left it'll count how many times that file occurred close parenthesis now this isn't an array but I'm going to use control enter to populate all these cells so there we have it um, now the last time we in essence need to look through here we could just use the max right because time and dates are numbers. So obviously if it's further through time or further through dates, we can use the max function. But we need a condition, right? We need to, to isolate the calculation here just for red. So it needs to go red, oh, to look at that one. Red, oh, look at that one. So somehow we need to pick out this one and this one, etc. We'll do that with an array formula. We just want the max, so equals max. And then instead of putting the range, the whole range in here, right, we have to tell it if. And the logical test is, hey, this whole column here, control shift down arrow and F4. Logical test, whenever that is equal to this one. And then when we copy it down, it'll always get a series of trues and falses. And you can highlight this and hit F9. Don't do it if you have 40,000 records, because F9 won't work. You can only have like 8,000 characters. But there it is, the trues or falses. Control Z. That will determine which one of these times. Control Shift down arrow F4. So the value of true is this. Only when there's a true there will it take that um, and put it into the max. So close parentheses. So really all we did is we got this string, if I hit F9, I mean this array of F9 of times or date and times if it was date and times. And the biggest one. By the way, the falses will be ignored. Control Z. Uh, control Shift Enter. This is an array format because the if function right there is expecting a single value. We could put a bunch in, so it's an array. So you hold Control Shift and Enter. Double click and send it down. And uh, Control 1 to format it. And I'm going to do number time. Again, I just did. Uh, times here, but when you have dates and times, then you could be looking at that also. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.